Saturday Night Live from the Apex in Las Vegas, it's UFC Vegas 63 featuring a featherweight matchup in the main event between Calvin Qatar and Arnold Allen. Let's break it down. Arnold Allen is 28 years old. He's 5'8 with a 69.5 inch reach and a record of 18-1 with 6 knockouts and 4 submissions. From Suffolk, England, he took up martial arts as a teenager and after a brief amateur career, he turned pro in April of 2012 with a second round knockout. Over the next three years, he amassed a record of 9-1 with five knockouts, fighting for various promotions before making his UFC debut in June of 2015, earning his first Performance of the Night award with a third round guillotine choke of Alan Amir. Seven months later, he defeated Yotsin Meza and followed that up with a close split decision over Makwan Amerikani. In May of 2018, he earned his second straight performance of the night with a third-round front choke submission of Mads Burnell and followed that up with a lackluster but precise victory over Jordan Rinaldi. Three months later, he put on a dominant unanimous decision over MMA veteran Gilbert Belendez and continued his winning streak with an entertaining decision over Nick Lentz. After another impressive victory over Shadiq Youssef, which saw Allen drop his Nigerian opponent twice, he made his biggest step up in competition when he took on the always dangerous fan favorite Dan Hooker, wobbling the Kiwi twice in the first round before stunning him with a head kick and brutally stopping him with an unanswered barrage of punches, elbows, and knees. One of the most well-rounded fighters in the division, Allen effectively combines a high fight IQ and excellent footwork with solid technical striking and world-class grappling skills. Calvin Guitar is 34 years old. He's 5'11 with a 72-inch reach and a record of 23-6 with 11 knockouts and two submissions. From Methune, Massachusetts, he took up wrestling in his freshman year, going on to become ranked 5th at the Division I MIAA State Championships. After deciding not to wrestle in college, he instead got his associate's degree at Middlesex Community College and made his professional debut in June of 2007 with a first-round TKO. He then went 16-2 with seven knockouts while fighting in the New England Regional Circuit before making his UFC debut in July of 2017 with a unanimous decision over Andre Feely and followed that up with a third-round knockout of Shane Burgos before dropping a decision to Renato Moncano. He bounced back with two impressive first-round knockouts over Chris Fishgold and Ricardo Lamas before headlining his first event, albeit in a losing effort, against Zabit Magomed Sharapov. In his next fight at UFC 249, he took on UFC mainstay Jeremy Stevens, who came in five pounds overweight and started fast, beating up Qatar's lead leg with low kicks before getting dropped with a vicious right elbow in the second round and finished with ground and pound. After signing a new contract with the UFC, he took on the highly regarded Dan Ige, putting on an impressive display of skill and power and dominating him with his jab and reach en route to winning a wide unanimous decision. On January 16, 2021, he faced former champion and all-time great Max Holloway, ending up on the losing side of one of the most one-sided fights in UFC history, taking heavy damage as Holloway landed a record 445 strikes, including 141 in the fourth round alone. Exactly one year later, he returned to the octagon, putting on an impressive and dominant performance against up-and-coming Giga Chikadze, controlling the action from the start and almost scoring a knockout in the final seconds en route to a wide unanimous decision. However, on June 18, 2022, he dropped a hard-fought and controversial split decision to number 7 ranked Josh Emmett in a bloody and highly entertaining slugfest. A highly proficient technical striker, Qatar possesses excellent power and some of the best boxing in MMA using his jab, low kicks, and reach to keep his opponents at distance while landing at a rate of over five strikes per minute. With a precise striking and excellent grappling of Allen be enough to continue his campaign up to featherweight rankings, or will the power and relentless pressure of the Boston finisher overwhelm his younger opponent as he seeks to remain a major player in the title picture? Tune in to UFC Fight Night, Qatar versus Allen, and let's find out.